Welcome back to Minecraft. I'm Michael and this is a bit earlier than expected, already version 2 of my chicken farm. Um, well, f uh, I took a look at it and I thought how the hell are you going to get all the chickens up there in survival? And the answer is you don't. <laughs> So what I added now is a selector, though you can either choose to have the eggs fired into the lower compartment or the chickens will get fried whenever they grow up or you can have the eggs transported via an egg elevator to the upper compartment to get more chicks. So what you would do is uh, switch to the upper compartment and wait for a while until you get something like 50, 60 chicks in there and then they are going to lay all the eggs that you ever need to have fried chicken for the rest of your life. So next I'm going to show you how to build this. We'll start with a regular chest and have a hopper point into it. Next enclose this with whatever you like even though I'd recommend against class because chicks glitch through class. Walls right now are four high and these are three and another four, three I said, thanks. Uh, then you can already add the dispensers, one in the rear and one above. And then you can also already add a bucket of lava into the rear dispenser, like that. Now a bit of class or <laughs> well just use it so you can see the chicken because it's more fun. Next a bit of wiring we're using a comparator here and another one on top of the rear dispenser and now we are ready for the dual edge lever which is an ingenious little device that gives off a one tick pulse whenever it's being turned on or off. Just add a little redstone down here and a redstone torch. And now you can lead that into whatever you like, in my case, into the wall just beneath the rear dispenser. Though this is what's going to toggle the lava off and on. Off when chicks are getting fired into the little compartment and on when we're done with that. Now this is very important at a half step there because otherwise the redstone on top of that will also power the uh, lava dispenser. And this is a little clock that will later on f uh, fire all the eggs. So if, uh, we're adding a little hopper here which will later become part of the switch. And uh, this is already the hopper, no dropper, dropper elevator. Uh, then add another dropper there and a dispenser. So the switch works like this. We got two hoppers here, one pointing f uh, to the dispenser below and the other one into the item elevator. Then we add another two hoppers here pointing into each other which will just bounce an egg to and fro until the active hopper below will suck an egg out of it. And this is how the hoppers are turned off. You just add a piston and a redstone block and wherever the redstone block is that hopper is turned off. Let's just encase all of this and add another half step here. This is where all the busy chickens will spend the rest of their lives producing eggs for us in the tiniest cage known to mankind. Just like real life. Now this is going to be the most interesting part because uh, this is going to be the clock that will activate the item elevator and it's a new thing based on a comparator and it's so tremendously fast. Forget about wanting clocks, this is a real thing. I've never seen anything as fast as this. So I made a little mistake over there because uh, comparators will get signals through solid blocks which will help us getting the thing much smaller. So let's destroy everything, block there, another block there, then remove that block and you're going to get a nice alternating pattern. And this is where the comparator goes. Then a 
redstone which will pick up the signal from the comparator and the repeater that will make it much stronger which leads into another comparator and this is the actual clock just a comparator and three pieces of redstone the only catch is the comparator needs a constant update which will come from the comparator behind the chopper below firing items into the elevator so close everything off a little and yeah for the remaining redstone the large block on the left blocks the signal from that one though it will only go up that half step took me ages to figure out and put a, another repeater down there and as a safety precaution more redstone on top of that chopper then a few nice egg colored blocks and yeah we're almost done for just remaining now a few finishing touches like a bit of cloth there and light because it's already getting dark again and then the all important lever you must place it there you may not place it beneath the piston because otherwise you will disable the lava now label everything very nicely for lever up will breed lever down will grill so let's place a few more lights and take a look around This is the alternating pattern that I was speaking of. Um, okay, let's put it to the test. Yeah, well, and now comes the part that was pissing me off for over an hour because it was so hard to figure out. X go in there, but nothing happens. Why that? We did everything right, didn't we? No, we didn't. See the comparator down there with the clock? I forgot to put it into subtraction mode and that's it here comes the chicken well the good thing about that I was suspecting directional problems to be the cause so I rebuilt everything into every possible direction and they all work though so you can be pretty sure that this is going to work in your survival world too well uh, if you like that video click like if you want to do me more videos like that, why not subscribe <laughs> and see you next time.